Hey guys, it's Kelly, the Embroidery Nurse. I'm coming to you today because it's exactly 30 days until what I consider one of the biggest events in the embroidery world, the Everything Embroidery Market. I love this trade show. I call it a trade show. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's basically a little bit of everything. I mean, it's shopping, it's time um, to learn because there's classes, there's new techniques, there's all kinds of just vendors that are amazing. I, I love it. And I just love being around like-minded folks, folks that do embroidery, that are in the crafting space, that either, you know, sell things, do it as a hobby, you name it. Anyone that is in our field is welcome. And I encourage you to try to make this show. Everything Embroidery Market this year is in Chattanooga. And it is April 28th through 30th. I am pumped. You might, have, I know you've heard me talk about this show. Um, <clears throat> I've gone several times. The last one was in Biloxi that I attended. And um, I, I, I've just met so many, so many great people um, last year and now. I am actually teaching a few classes. So I would love for you to sign up for those if you're able to make it. I'm actually going to give one person or maybe two free admission plus three classes um, that comments um, on this video. So just comment below. I will do a random drawing um, if you want to be if you want to be entered into this. Um, let me know below in the comments. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about it. So you're, you you might be like, wait, what? I don't know. You know anything? I've never heard about this show. And if you haven't. You guys, look it up, everythingembroiderymarket.com. So it's not just embroidery, because honestly, I learned about Transfer Express. That's where I actually, there was a booth. Um, when I was there, there was a booth from Stalls. There was actually a class um, from Transfer Express, and I learned all about them. And that's when I got into um, using a heat press, which I had never done before. I would probably never have stepped foot into that new arena if I hadn't learned about it at the show. Now, of course, some of my favorite um, fabrics I have found, um, you know, at this show and I continually, you know, for the past several years have bought from the same um, and also Love That Cotton. I had never heard of Love That Cotton and I was still in the early, you know, beginnings of my embroidery career. I saw that it was the booth right in the front and the seersucker just called my name. And I became a loyal customer to Love That Cotton. Um, and um, or over time, they actually are the ones that now run this um, market. But um, the amazing owners of Love That Cotton decided they wanted this show to continue because it was something that they look forward to every year and it was really important to them as well. Um, so they've taken this on and do just an amazing job. So let me just tell you first the classes. You don't have to take any classes but honestly that's what I go there for. Uh, you know our field is ever evolving. It's There's always something new to learn. There's always a new technique to learn. There's always a new business practice to learn and so going there with an open mind and and wanting to learn these things um, can really help your business grow. So I was going to go over some of the classes that are um, offered and then also tell you some of the vendors that will be there because that's pretty cool too. Um, so the classes do sell out, you know, some of them, not all of them, but um, get it, get in there guys because um, the ones, I know there's three classes that I'm teaching. Um, and I know one, like one of them only has like 14 spots left. So get it y'all. I've already signed up for classes because I wanted to make sure that I got the ones that I wanted to go to. Okay. So I also have a list of the vendors that are going to be there. So I wanted to, to kind of tell you about some of these, um, our success group, they're going to, um, it's our success group.com. This is Aaron and Kylie Montgomery. Um, they are new. I've not, um, had any classes with them, but they're going to do some really good business oriented classes. Um, and they're also a sponsor of the event, a bit of stitch all about blanks, all stitch up by Angela. That's the fabric I was talking about all about blanks. I get, um, blanks from regularly Bella blue embroidery Chattanooga, I'm sorry, Chattanooga sewing machines. It's a hard town to say. Custom Keepsakes Machine Embroidery, Designs by Little B. They're going to be an instructor. 
Durky Hoops. You guys know from watching my videos, I use Durky Hoops. Um, they're one of the main hoops that I use. And Brilliance, which is a sponsor, and they teach classes. They have an amazing classes with the Brilliance. One of them is already sold out. So look into those. They are so awesome. Lisa Shaw is an amazing instructor. I've taken pretty much every class that she has um, offered at the Everything Embroidery Markets um, and learned a lot because in Brilliance is, is what I use. And I learn something new every time I listen to her speak. Just ins and outs. So many, so many amazing things that a Brilliance can do. Embroidery Nurse is an instructor. I'm on the list. Epilogue RS Digital and Laser, so you can learn about things like lasers and how you could add and incorporate that into your business. Fabric Finders, another great one. Glitter Bug Fairy, Heat Transfer Solutions, so you can learn about the um, heat transfer world. Hot Fix Adhesive, that sounds really cool. Lisa Potts Designs, Love That Cotton, they're a sponsor and of course have an amazing booth. It will pull you in. Manifest Brand Management, Paper Plus and More, Pegboard Crafts, Sassy Subber is an instructor, SewingMachine.com, Sewing Seeds Designs, um, they have a booth. I believe um, Cassidy also teaches some classes and they're a sponsor, so that's awesome. Her booth at Biloxi was like I was taking pictures just, I'm like, I don't, just because it was so beautiful. Really great job. Sew and Quilt Studio. Shelly Smola Designs. Sizer is an instructor. SK, SK Creations is an instructor. Um, you guys, she is amazing. SK Creations, I don't know if you've seen on Etsy. She is in the top 1%. Not only the top 1%, it's like the top zero, wait, 0.01%. Like, it's amazing. She has just a beautiful shop, sells embroidered baby items, um, really kind of um, niche down and does, you know, a lot of the coming home outfits for babies. Just beautiful, beautiful work. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm taking some of her classes because I know that she has stuff for me to learn. Um, the Stitchery. Transfer Express, again, that's where I found them, you guys. Wild About Me Blanks, Zaza and Loli, I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then Eight Counts Embroidery, Easy Hoop Driver. And there'll be more. That was just one of the original lists that's on the website. So, I, I mean, you guys, that's a lot of amazing sponsors, instructors, and vendors that will be at this event. So, I am super excited. So, a little bit about some of the classes. Like, what am I teaching? Well, let me tell you. I'm teaching um, growing your business using social media. So we'll talk about things such as, um, you know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the different things that you can use, uh, you know, in the world of social media to help your business grow. I actually taught that one last year and it's a great class. Um, and then turning your hobby into a business, pricing for profit. So we'll talk about you know, how do you go from making things for your grandkids and for your neighbors and for the ladies at church and to actually making a business, making it a, you know, in, where you're actually making a profit. So I'm excited about that class. I, I you know, even learning as I'm kind of doing my own preparation for that class um, of ways that I can even change, you know, what I'm doing right now, but I'm super excited about that class. So that's called Turning Your Hobby Into a Business, Pricing for Profit. Uh, if you look down the list of um, classes, it doesn't actually have my name by that. So you have to just kind of look and just know that I am teaching that one. Um, all right, what are some other classes you might ask? So we've got Marine Vinyl Do's and Don'ts. That's a class. Um, Pegboard Crafts is teaching that one. Um, they'll talk all about Marine Vinyl and you'll learn you know, what, how to use it, tips and tricks, applications. That's super cool. Um, applique basics you guys we all could use some pointers on applique um, pegboard crafts is teaching that um, join peggy and beth as they share with you how to do machine applique from start to finish great class especially if you're kind of on the fence about you know being nervous doing applique this would be a great class for you to join all about that cork this is by all stitched up by angela so they want you to think outside the box and learn to craft with cork. I actually bought cork for the first time in Biloxi at the last show um, to make some embroidered um, earrings. And I can't wait to show them. I love it. The cork is really, really cool. 
um, sewing and craft room essentials by all stitched up by Angela you guys this is just going to be a great class to show you what are the essentials that you could be using or should be using in your craft room um, and there are things that I, more than likely they'll have at their booth that you can um, purchase while you're there so be on the lookout for that um, Bella Blue Embroidery is teaching a class on what you need to know about doing craft shows I get that question all the time that's one of my you know one of my more popular videos is when I was um, gearing up for a craft show um, so a lot of people have questions about that so I think that's an amazing class to join keys to successful business planning by Erin Montgomery um, they're going to talk about different ingredients of how to develop keys into a comprehensive plan that will guide your business to success so these are like business classes that could be amazing for you know growing what else um next level crafting using a silhouette and glowforge how oh, cool i those glowforge like seriously i would love to learn how to use a glowforge like seriously uh and a silhouette um are you tired of doing the same thing over and over why not combine two very powerful machines your silhouette and glowforge to create something unique and fun that sounds cool like i don't have either one of those machines that's the kind of class that I would like to go to so I can see what those machines have to offer and then um, bite my nails the whole class thinking about can I buy it should I buy it when am I gonna buy it I need this those classes can be dangerous but that sounds like an awesome class we already talked about Lisa Shaw who is the like end-all be-all greatest instructor for brilliance essentials um, she's gonna teach a, cl a class on digitizing 101 I know that one um, a lot of times will sell out but it's being offered twice so that's really great so try to get in one of those um Aaron Montgomery again that was uh, we're talking about the um, business side of classes is doing three pricing strategies to avoid and what to do instead um so that's that will be really helpful for many folks um Cassidy from sewing seeds is going to teach a class all about that bean stitch if you've not seen sewing seed designs or um, learned from Cassidy she um has specialized in her niche of digitizing with bean stitch if you go that is literally what her entire you know site you know evolves around is the bean stitch and taking that class and learning how to perfect that skill because to me bean stitch can be hard um but it doesn't need to be and she'll talk you through it in that class um, another Ky Kyleen Montgomery uh, is doing a work-life balance myth dream or possibility I know a lot of us kind of struggle with that work-life balance a lot of us have jobs outside of our embroidery um, so that would be a great class to take um, Shana Kilby that's who I was talking about with SK creations she's gonna teach a class on all things Etsy growing your business with Etsy that's gonna be amazing and it's actually offered twice so if you can't get in one then try to get in the other one um, you know if you're thinking about selling our Etsy if you presently do she will have some amazing pointers um, another class by Aaron and Kylie Montgomery the business side of things um, is doing a class on business owners mindset believe it possible overcome fear and take action um, so that sounds like a really great you know powerful class that can really kind of get your gears running uh, when it comes to you know jump starting your business I need to take this um, Mallory Maxwell is teaching a class on how to build a website using Shopify you guys I have a Shopify site and it just kind of is crickets so I built a beautiful one uh, but I need to learn more about how to you know lead folks to that site so this is definitely a business class that I feel like would be very beneficial for me um, Chattanooga Sewing Center which obviously would be local to the area is teaching a class on creative zipper bags in the hoop I love in the hoop projects that it to me when I sit there and try to just even process how a digitizer has even dreamed up how an embroidery machine can turn something you know into like a bag it is just it's baffling to me so that would be a great class um, SK creations Shana Kilby again is going to be teaching a class on finding your niche or your niche whatever however you say that um, and that's a great class because I, I feel like she mastered that um, she might have done tons of types of embroidery in the beginning but she really niched down and just does um, baby newborn baby products um, so I know she would be a great person teaching that class 
Um, another class that she's teaching is scaling your business and managing your team. Um, and this is really great for folks that have been in business, um, but are you know wanting to maybe take it to the next level. Um, I think she is going to really help people understand, you know, how maybe how she decided to take that next step or, or, or how you kind of move from one part of your business and grow from there. So I'm super excited about that class. I've already signed up for that one. Um, another great class that Cassidy with Sewing Seeds is going to teach is setting yourself up with success through photography. Um, she did this kind of on the fly last year. And um, it's a great class. You know, photography is like the number one thing you should focus on. I mean, of course, you got to, you know, be able to do the craft of embroidery or sublimation or um, all the other things. But if you don't take good pictures in the end, then you're done. You're done. Photography is so key to what we do um, to be able to sell your items, um, especially on Etsy. The Etsy is sold through photographs. Uh, people don't go on there and just look for words. They go and see that's the cutest little thing or I didn't even realize I needed that. Look how cute that is. And and they, they see and experience Etsy through the pictures that you take and that you provide. So having good pictures, that's a great class to take. Quilting in the Hoop, Chattanooga Sewing Machines is doing that as well. That sounds really cool. I've never done any quilting with my embroidery machine, but... Um, but I would love to. There's, you know, a couple of quilts I've seen out there that I think would be really cool. I would love to be able to take um, the items that I make for folks and do a t-shirt type quilt, maybe quilt it on the back and the front. I don't know exactly, but I think that'd be a great class. Uh, Beginner's Guide to Heat Transfer by Rick Courtney. Um, that's awesome. If you've never done heat transfer, um, he's with Heat Transfer Solutions. And we'll talk about like the basics of heat transfer vinyl. Um, and just, you know, kind of learn all about that craft. So that sounds like a wonderful one to take. Um, Hot Fix Adhesive is going to teach a class on working with fusible for applique, quilting, and more. Um, so I've never worked with fusibles. I think that would be great. They're going to talk about layering appliques, cutting pre-fused fabric, uh, how to print and or draw patterns. Like that sounds really cool to add to things you might already do. Um, Bella Blue Designs and the Sassy Subber are teaching a class on everything you need to start a sublimation business. You guys, that sounds awesome too. Again, I don't do sublimation. Um, this would be a great class for me to go and join because they're going to talk about, you know, like what you do in the beginning, how to get into it, and just give you tips and tricks and, uh, on sublimation, which is awesome. All right, Chattanooga Sewing Machines. They are also teaching a class on digital cutting with RNK. Um, so join Judy um, Friedenberg, National Educator for RNK Distributing, as she guides you through the creation of a fun Mother's Day banner using Quilters Select Craft and Cut and Brother Scan and Cut. That sounds awesome! I fell in love with the Brother Scan and Cut at the last um, show I was at, and I was like two seconds away from buying it while I was sitting in the class learning about it, but I just kind of had to put on the brakes and think about it and uh, I know there's a time that I probably will get it, um, but I, I just haven't I haven't jumped yet. I, I've been trying to be focused and be more intentional with the things I spend my money on. But you guys, this I know if I go to that class, I would probably walk away buying one. Erin um, Montgomery, again, we're talking about some of the more business focused classes. They're teaching another class on being customer centric, and that's the only way to real profitability. Um, so we know customer service is huge, um, so I'm sure they can talk to you and help you learn, um, you know, how to provide that great customer service. Um, Lisa Shaw with Embrilliance is also teaching decorative stitches. So that, I'm sure that would be a great one, talking about embossed designs, textured fabrics, um, all kinds of stuff in that one. Lisa Shaw is also teaching a class on neckline embroidery. You know you've seen the sweaters and the sweatshirts, and uh, I just think that's going to be a fun class to actually learn that technique and how to master that. And I'm sure I'm sure she's showing you in the Embrilliant software how to do it. It's definitely one of the hottest trends right now. Um, Lisa is also teaching another class on making Embrilliant's work for you. Again, if you don't have software, you, this would be a great class to take because Embrilliance is what I've always used from day one, and um, I just can't say enough good things about that software. Um, Lisa Potts is teaching a class on Silhouette Studio Basics. 
Um, are you, you know, do you have a silhouette? Some people have, you know, different machines they haven't even touched. They're sitting in the corner. If, you, if you're one of those and, and a silhouette something you own, then this would be a great class to go and, and just kind of learn all the things you can create, uh, fun projects, tips and tricks, time savers, and things like that. Um, Transfer Express, um, like I said, that's where I found them at this last show. They're going to um, have a class on screen printing with just a heat press. Um, they're going to introduce different types of heat presses and talk about how you can create art, order, and press screen print transfers. You can even watch a couple of videos that I've done. I am not affiliated with Transfer Express, but I have just had so much fun over the past six months doing some really unique items. I'm getting ready to actually um, be a vent, not a vendor. I'm not really being a vendor. I, I'm being a mom at my kid's spring fling and I'm going to set up my heat transfer uh, or my... Um, I'm going to set up my heat press and I'm going to let the kids pick whether they want a blue or red shirt and um, they can pick the design they want. So it's kind of like going into some of those, um, you know, shops you see at the mall or, or at, uh, at the beach and you can make a shirt right then and there. I'm going to do that at the spring fling. So I'm super excited. I'm going to take my heat press with me. Uh, I'll try to do a video of that so you can see it. But these are things from heat transfer that I created. This says Spring Fling, Moorhead Middle School. And then I did a red shirt version, uh, Moorhead Middle School. And there's one other version, but I think my son already has it. But anyway, just a great, great fun way to learn um, how to do heat transfer. Um, and it, these press in like four seconds, peel it hot, you're done. Boom, boom, boom. I'm excited about that. And that's a great class to take to learn about it. Um, Evie from A Bit of Stitch is going to teach magic in the hoop. Uh, machine embroidery enthusiasts, come learn what else your embroidery machine can do, such as make toys or become a florist. How about paper piecing? Uh, what about putting embroidery on things you cannot get in the hoop? Um, so I'm going to teach you kind of a lot of tips and tricks and, and, and just fun, different, unique things that you can do. Um, Shelly is going to teach a class on crafty construction in the hoop. Um, she's going to teach you how to become a carpenter and build a house in the hoop. Tips, tricks, and everything else you need to know to build 3D castles, fairy cottages, and more. Um, that sounds really fun. Like, what time is that class? Is it the same time I'm teaching? Because I want to take that. I want to build fairy castles. Uh, it might be when I'm teaching. Oh. Um, what is next? We are talking about, uh, it's laser beams, exploring Glowforge as an addition to your vinyl embroidery business. That is a great class to be in. Uh, I highly recommend that, uh, you know, just to learn a new craft. If embroidery is all you do or sublimation is all you do or vinyl is all you do, learning something else to kind of expand your business. Uh, a, a trade show like this is a great way to learn about it. Get your hands on it. See it firsthand. Let's see, paper plus and more. I say plus because it's P-L-U-Z, paper plus and more. I don't know. Um, they're going to teach a class on beginning sublimation. So there's another great class on sublimation that you can learn about. Um, be creative, be sizer is another class. They're going to use the sizer vinyl products and just show you um, how you can use vinyl with embroidery sublimation and outside the box. All right, what else? We're getting to the end of the alphabet, so we must be getting close. Um, turning your hobby into a business, pricing for profit. That's me, that's me, that's Friday at 2.30. Um, owning a small business can change your life and provide financial freedom, but pricing is a key component to success. Um, we'll be breaking the whole thing down from cost of materials, extra cost fees, the effect on the community, and most importantly, we'll discuss the value of your time. Um, let's see, another class by me, by me, by me. Growing your business using social media. Uh, promoting your handmade products on social media can be very stressful. Um, tools to growing your business. We'll talk about the top social media platforms you should be using in your handmade business and tips for how to get started. So that's my class. And that is Friday at 1130. I think it's twice though. Friday at 1130 and then also at four. So it's offered twice because it sold out last year. So we needed some more space. Um, Evie from A Bit of Stitch is going to teach a class on machine embroidery SOS. Um, she's going to just talk about some of the oops when they happen, you know, what you can do, um, how you can fix some of the glitches of your own embroidery, and then just learn, you know, her special tips and tricks of hooping, stabilizing, and things like that that can helpfully make you so you don't have too many oops. 
SewingMachine.com is teaching a class on PR machines, tips and tricks. Um, so learn maintenance tips, including proper oiling and cleaning of your PR series machines, go over settings and color change options. And just if, if this is a machine you have or something you're looking you know, to get, then definitely this is a great class for you to be in. Um, SewingMachine.com is also teaching a class on embellish it, sublimation versus digital transfer. So awesome, you'll learn the difference between the two, um, seeing the latest equipment and accessories and discover you know, about the pricing and, and you know, important features of both of these processes. SewingMachine.com is also teaching a class on OKI Printer. Everything you need to know about white toner printer. Y'all, this is the like new, like exciting thing out there and I hope to get my hands on one. Um, and this is a way you can add transfers to your own business, learn what um, sets the OKI white toner printer apart. This is a great class if you want to learn more about that. Um, Designs by Little B is teaching a class called Embroidery Tips and Tricks of the Trade. Yes, that is amazing for anyone that is embroidery, which is pretty much, you know, half, 75% of the folks that um, come to these type of, or to this show. Um, you know, and she'll just talk about the basics of stabilizers and hooping and things like that. So say you've never done embroidery in your life, this would be a great class to come to to learn to see if this is something that you might want to get into. Um, laser Tag Your It, Wild About Me Blinks is teaching this class. They're going to be talking about laser engraved items. Um, these are becoming so much more popular. Um, they're going to talk about how to get started and um, the versatility of the epilogue laser cutters. I would love to go to that one. Uh, Lisa Shaw does have a hands-on class. These are offered on Thursday, so pretty much the day before the, um, the show floor opens. And one is hands-on. You bring your um, computer and y'all work one-on-one -on -one as a group. One-on-one -on -one as a group. You work individually in the class on your own computer to learn um, hands-on about um, Stitch Artist and then hands-on essentials. I think the essentials class is already sold out, um, but sometimes they're able to get you know more space, so just keep your eye on that. But I believe the Stitch Artist version is there. I actually bought the Stitch Artist, um, which is like the next step of Embrilliance where you can learn to do some um, digitizing. And I did buy that because I went to this class in Biloxi. Um, and you know i don't really have intentions of digitizing but it's just neat to learn the ins and outs of how things are digitized that can help you with your embroidery that you do every day there's also um, a vendor panel that will happen on saturday morning and it's a meet and greet where you can get a chance to speak to some of the vendors that will be there um, ask certain questions i'm sure they'll have some questions prepared um, to talk to you guys about but it's just a fun way to sit down with um, some people that are um, in our field the panelists at that meet and greet are Lisa Shaw with Embrilliance, Karina with Bella Blue, Richard with SewingMachine.com, Nikki with Sassy Suburb, Erin with our success group. Um, they're going to limit this to the first 100 people to sign up. Um, and it's going to be a great way just to ask questions and to, to learn from them. So those are the classes. A again, we talked about the vendors that will be there. You can literally just go and shop. Shop to your little heart's desire. Each one of the vendors is so, you know, fun to talk to. You know, they love their craft. You can go to the heat, you know, different vendors say like the heat transfer. You don't have to take their class. You can literally just go up to their booth and talk to them. They'll have folks there that can, you know, teach you all you need to know. They love it. That's what they're there for. Um, some of these folks do go, you know, around to other shows throughout the year. Some, this is exclusive, the only show they do. Uh, everything in embroidery market is, is generally held twice a year. This is the spring show. I hope you guys can make it. If, if not this time, but I really hope you can. It's 30 days, 30 days from right this minute. Um, I hope you can um, join us. I would love to meet you in person. Please sign up for my classes. If that interests you, the topics that I'll be talking about, um, and certainly come say hello if you see me there. And again, comment below. I will be selecting two people that can get free admission to the show and three individual classes that they can take. So comment below, you guys, if you're interested. Just put your name, um, just put your name and I'll reach out to, I'm gonna do a random you know, pick of um, those that comment and I am so excited and look forward to this, y'all. It really is, it fills my bucket. 
I really, I know I've said this before, I made a video after I came home from Biloxi and I was just pumped because it does. I just love being around like-minded crafters. My, 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 fr my closest friends, they know I embroider and they'll drop a towel off here and there for me to monogram or a bag or do something for their child for a birthday. But they don't really understand embroidery and understand our field. And I, I can't talk to them about, you know, I, just embroidery things, right? But when I go to a craft show like this, you know, it's my time away. It's my time for education. It's like continuing education as a nurse. I want to go and keep learning and, you know, you know, and, and being amongst those in our field. Uh, I just think that's important and, and just helps me grow as a business person. Um, yeah, so that's it. Hope to see you there. Um, I re it really is just a blast. And, you know, I will be at every everything Embroidery Market has to offer. Go check out their website, Everything Embroidery Market. Um, you can just Google that. So go Google Everything Embroidery Market. You can look up all the details. You can buy, and I'll put a link below. Um, but you can learn, you know, about where you can stay, learn about Chattanooga, learn about, um, they even have a podcast, which I was on one time. Um, as a guest so you can listen to those that can really get you excited because they've talked to several people that will be at the show as vendors uh, or panelists or teachers educators um, so several of their um, podcasts were interviewing folks that um, are in the field so that's really great they also have EEM connect which is a way that you can connect with others throughout the year and and learn you know more about embroidery and business and and just all things so I, I recommend you checking that out um, and any questions you have if you have, please ask below but also um, ask the folks at everything embroidery market they will be happy to talk through any questions that you might have you guys I'm so excited about it I hope you can join us and again, comment below if you're interested. I'm going to pick two lucky folks for free admission um, and three classes. Whoop, whoop. All right. See you guys there.